All right, let's continue to learn Blender through making a cake. Um, so a couple things. Uh, let's go ahead and hit tab and go to object mode. And um, actually, let's learn a new shortcut today. So if you click the tilde key, which is the, it's normally on your keyboard placed directly to the left of your one, it'll bring up your um, cameras menu. So if I click front here, I can switch to front, right, and so on. What I want to do is uh, let's clean up our track here and start to make it look a little bit more like this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit tab and I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm just going to select all these verts in here and notice what I told you before like if you select all these it doesn't go through. So another shortcut key for x-ray mode is alt and z or remember you can just turn this on and off here and if you highlight this what we want to do is uh, grab all these verts and we just want to scale them so that we're flattening them out right so what we're going to do is on the y-axis I'm just going to go all the way to the middle so these are straight and I'm going to do the same thing for all of these so s and then y and um, so s for scale and then y it looks like actually I might have some overlapping UVs or I somehow copied them let's see so s why? No, it looks like I, I might have copied it as I was going around. So let's do the same thing with this guy here. Now, if you're marqueeing across, and what you're finding is that it's giving you more of a circle marquee than the um, a box one, it could be because you have select circle on instead of select box. All right, so there's that. Another thing I want to do is... Um, let's uh, hit alt c and get out of that mode is i want to clean this up a lot like i don't want any of this inside geo i want to keep it open so that we can create our wheels and we're going to create kind of more toyish plastic wheels maybe put a box in there so uh, in edit mode i'm going to hit three and what i want you to do is um, we can just do this from the right view too is select all of these faces inside of here and um, I'm going to hit Alt-C so you can see the inside of it. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to grab really everything but the uh, front and side. And then I'm just going to press Delete and delete those faces. So if we look at this now, oops, I want, I don't, I'm going to hold Control to deselect those. So just so you can kind of see this a little bit here. And I actually want these guys still here. and then press delete and then faces that's what I want I want to kind of gut that that inside area like this and we can kind of do the same thing in here just by selecting all those pressing delete so we want something like that where we just have the outer area of it I also kind of don't like these um, the way that it created this these faces over here so let's do this um, back in object mode um, with um, let's select everything but these here and then I'm going to teach you another shortcut key if you press H on your keyboard it'll hide all of them if you hit alt and H it'll bring the visibility back so it's sort of the same thing as like going in here and clicking all these off all right and remember these are mirrored so anything I do to one it's going to do to the other so tabbing going back to edit mode and let's delete those faces And I'm going to clean up these guys, something like this. Looking good. Let's do the same thing on this side. Now, even though inside of blender you can see the inside of the faces here if we were to bring it into a game engine it would actually be transparent on the inside so we actually need this to be double sided facing so what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to object mode here and in our panel here we're just going to add a new modifier and what we want to add is solidify and you could see with solidify added 
what we can do is we can increase the thickness and it starts to give us that thickness on the inside here. And if you go to clamp, for example, and we set this to 0.5, for example, it'll clamp. Offset is pretty great. Let's see if we can, if we set this to one, you'll see it scales out. If we do minus one, it goes in. Um, and then the crease is, if we want to smooth out that inner edge a little bit, let's see if we can, there we go. I'm using um, the a Blender um, 2.9, the uh, beta version, so it's going to give me a little bit of trouble. Um, so let's see. If we do inner here on crease and I type 1, you'll notice it gives a little bit more of that. Let's see if we can give it a little more thickness so you can see that. I'm not going to make it this thick, but we want to make sure. I just want to show you how it's kind of come off those edges. Let's go here. And I want to do even thickness. And let's bring this in a little bit more. Something like that. And then I might have to, um, let's play with that offset for a second. Let's do 0.2 maybe, or minus 0.2 rather. Looks pretty good. I might have to grab these inside faces when we're done and scale them up a little bit. Let's do one on outer. And So if we do complex even and we do a little bit rounded, you can see we get a little rounded edges. I kind of like that flat look because I'm not going to leave it that thick, you know. What we're going to be doing is sort of um, maybe something like that. Looks pretty good. We can turn this on and off to see the visibility of it in our viewport. I guess it's not so bad. I, we will, like I said, we're probably gonna have to grab these inside faces once we're done and pull them down. I think the, I think these are probably our best options for now. I think that looks pretty good. Remember, it's gonna be this tiny on the screen. I'm sort of, um, uh, you know, obsessing over nothing. So anyway, Alt A, Alt H rather to unhide that. And I spent a little bit too much time uh, fiddling with that. So that's looking pretty good. Another thing I'd like to do is as I'm working is uh, just to, so I could view it a little bit better. I like to just apply some materials to this. So um, any area that I think is going to be yellow, I'm going to go to my material area and I'm just going to add a new material and I'm just going to name it yellow. And then I'm going to change my base color to sort of an off yellow here. And let's make sure there's a W in our yellow. And if you want to view that in the viewport, you click this option here. And so what we can do with these other guys is just with our drop down here, select yellow for each one of these. And this helps me to begin to see how my object starts to fit. And when we go to unwrap and texture this, it's going to help a lot more. So I'm going to name this one dark gray. And then I'm going to change this to a dark gray color, something like that. All right, let's uh, continue to block out the rest of our tractor here. So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to duplicate this guy. So Shift D, and then I'm just going to move it on the um, on my Y axis. Let's move that forward, scale it out on Y as well, something like this, and then on X width. And I'm going to begin to just sort of create that flattened area. So let's go to our edit mode. I'm going to select this front edge here, pull that back. I'm going to select this front face, hit E to extrude, and then S to scale in that extrusion. And then 
E for extrusion again, and then G, and then what we want to do is I want to move that um, G. So here's our. I want to move that extrusion back. So something like this. Make sure it butts up against that edge like this. So just something like this. And I'm going to scale that in just a little bit so it's not cutting through the other parts of that clamp. Let's rotate that as well. There we go. I'm going to rotate that on X. There we go. We have our little, just our front little scooping area. I like the shape of this. Like I said, even though it's not really going to be moved. So I'm going to duplicate this another time. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to object mode. And shift D. And I'm just going to move this off to the side here. And I'm going to scale it on the Y. So I get something like this. And I'm going to place that on the inside here, just in front of the side window here. I'm going to scale that down a bit more. Grab those top verts. Oops. So whenever you press one, two, or three, you can split, split, you can jump between your different collections. So two is my second bulldozer collection and one is my cake. So that's why like you'll see me do that sometimes if I forget that I'm in edit mode and I'm jumping between one, two, and three. So let's grab these verts. I'm gonna hit Alt C to make sure that I'm in transparency so I can see all of that. I wanna scale that out on my Y axis like this. And what I wanna do is hit three, select this face, hit E to extrude up, E again to extrude up, and then I'm gonna scale that on Y. And grab these verts. Let's make sure we're rotating that on the Y axis as well. Something like that. Uh, maybe that's a little too pronounced. Yeah, I'm giving mine a little bit more flavor than what they have there. All right, let's, um, I'm going to grab this whole side and then just scale those in on the Z-axis so it flattens it. All right, let's go back to object mode, scale that in on the center. Now a trick, what you'll start to notice is see how my pivot point is starting to become off-center? If you right-click on it and you go to set origin, origin to geometry, it'll center your origin, your axis origin there. So let's go ahead and grab that. I'm going to go ahead and scale that in a little bit more, so something like this. And then I can just go ahead and um, mirror that out. So go to my modifier stack, select mirror, mirror it across here. So that's looking pretty good. And what I'm going to do is just quickly um, extrude out one more cube kind of coming off the side here down and then to face that side there and then what we'll do is we'll continue to move on and build out into uh, the next video so let me knock that out really quick so shift d I'm gonna just move that forward and then off to the side here and i'm really just kind of placing it inside of here and then i'm going to make sure that it's on the inside of my tractor tires here Something like this. Let's grab these verts here. Remember, I'm in x ray mode now. And I'm going to scale those up a little bit here, like that. Bring these guys in. Go ahead and select our face. Extrude that out. I'm 
looks like I was ex exporting the vertices, so that's not what we want. All right, let's move this. I'm going to press 3. There we go. Now E to extrude. And what I like to do is, a lot of times I'll see students extrude like this, and then they'll rotate this up like this. That's not what, that's really not what you want to do. You want to select that face, that top face, and then extrude up that way whenever you're creating any sort of uh, geometry that's moving forward. Let's go ahead and hide this guy too. It's in my way, so I'm gonna hit H on this guy. And so in order to create that nice curvature, what you want to do is, is um, select those vertices. Let's go to edit mode. Make sure that you are in transparency. And you want to create a nice curve that looks like this out of the extrusion that we did upwards. And that's how you get that nice, beautiful curve. Grab these guys and pull them up just a little bit. So something like that. I'm going to pull this back. Give me a little bit more space like this. And then I'm going to bring all this in a little bit. Let's go back to object mode. Just so it sits on the interior a little bit. And then I'm going to add the mirror modifier here. And then Alt H to unhide everything. So this is a not a bad, this is actually pretty bad here. Let me edit that in. But uh, it's a, for the, the scale of what it's going to be on the cake, you can go pretty crazy here with the, um, um, you can go pretty crazy with the amount of detail, but this thing, like I was saying, is going to be about that big on our cake. And sometimes it helps because our final render mode is going to be probably in cycles. And so if we throw our, our cycles here and we go to this render view here and you drop a plane underneath it, let's go to object mode. Sometimes it helps to, um, like... It helps to see it this way, so you're like, okay, I, I get it. So scaling out a plane like this, uh, let's see, we'll grab a, we'll create a new collection. So I'm going to shift A and go to, let's see, light, and I'm just going to add like a point light, for example, and place it this way. And let's go ahead and play with the settings for that. Let's see, where is that light? Here's our point light. Maybe we'll do a spotlight. And then if we rotate that a little bit, bring that up. This begins to help us to see how it'll look on our cake when we're going to render this. So that kind of helps a little bit. And we'll talk a little bit more about how to adjust our cycles setup. You know, our uh, render setup for cycles, like for example, like viewports 32 might be overkill. But if we're looking for something a little bit plasticky or more toy-like, we can go in here, look at our material, start playing with things like metallic. And our, you know, if we want our thing more flat, flat or more specular, uh, our roughness. You know, so like if this is a really shiny toy or reflective toy, things like that. All right. Uh, for the most part, we're going to spend a lot of our time just kind of in this textured flat mode. All right. So I think we're at a really good start. Um, go ahead and watch this video at double speed if you need to. I know I kind of went a little slow on certain parts. All right. Thank you very much.